Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Create, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I hope you like what you're seeing, you stick around, and you hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I'm going to be using some of my stamping supplies to create a home decor piece. So I'm using the Simonses Stamp background stamp, and it is called Mountain Scape. So I'm going to be stamping on this wooden canvas that I picked up at Dollarama, which is a Canadian dollar store here. And I did first attempt to stamp it on the front, but I end up stamping it on the inside instead because I was able to get a better impression on the inside and I actually really like how it turned out and how I was able to create this piece on the inside and add some things as you will see as we go along. So it didn't come out perfect because I didn't have the a stamping block that was going to fit perfectly in here so I just at first took a pencil crayon filled in the different areas that didn't stamp perfectly so that I could come back in and color so I am creating this decor piece for the little nursery that will be in my bedroom so I'm expecting my fourth baby at the end of March so I wanted to go ahead and make this decor piece we have a mountain theme in there so this is one of the decor pieces that I'm creating for the nursery area. And yeah, so I am just going in and I'm coloring this up with my Spectrum Norm markers. And I just really love how this comes together when I add all the different colors and I'm going to do a few different colors for the trees so that you get this vibrant, vibrant tree. Line. So I have not set up the nursery completely yet the way I'm happy with it, but I will try and remember to share a picture on the community tab area once it's all finalized and decorated so that you can see how this piece goes with all of the different decor that I have been collecting. It is so exciting to decorate this area and just get excited for baby number four coming yes so i just love how the colors come together in this decor piece i love taking my stamping supplies and giving them new life and just not making a card or trying to use them in a scrapbook page if possible it gives you a whole different perspective and just a whole new way to use your cards and just or your crafting supplies and and take it further than a card get more out of your stamping supplies and yeah I just love how this comes together and I'm going to be using some decals that I picked up at Dollar Tree a while ago a couple years ago actually I made like another canvas just with the decals and I've used it in my home in different places but it was exciting I picked up a few of them because I wanted to use it as gifts and so I had some extras and this was an easy way to get the words on there that I wanted but you could definitely take letter dies or stamps that had letters and do the same thing to get the sentiment that you wanted. You could switch this up and maybe even add a different verse in or like a Bible verse if you wanted to go that route. You're going to see what I do in a little bit. You've probably already seen this, um, the thumbnail, so it's going to say faith can move mountains and yeah, you could definitely switch that up, add some words, do a Bible verse or any saying like the mountains are calling me this doesn't even have to be for a baby nursery this could just be for any theme maybe you love hiking and you love going to the mountains so you could be like the mountains are calling and I must go I saw that as a decor piece when I was searching Amazon for little decor pieces and inspiration and yeah I just love how this blue really just pops on the canvas the wooden canvas and just adds this vibrancy to the images and I love the treescape 
with all of the different colors and then to quickly do the background of the skies like am I going to color this in with spectrum or markers I feel like this is gonna take a while I don't really know if I want that look what blue do I go with so I decided to go in with the distress oxides and just blend this over and I was able to blend it right over the clouds get right up to the mountains because it's such a subtle color and a light blue and then just to add some texture I was experimenting with the water and the distressed oxides. I didn't know how it would react on the wood, but it gave me a little bit of fun texture in the background. And then adding the detail of the tree line at the bottom with the trunks. And then here is where I come in with that decal from Dollar Tree. Like I said, I got this years ago. I have not seen it for a while, but this is a great way to add words and sentiments to your projects. Maybe you can find some Dollar Tree decals or decals from other places, even to add to a card, simply. So I did have to cut it down a little bit to fit it in because it was quite long. So I just cut the little pieces and got it in to the center of the canvas. I love the little lantern from this too. It just adds that like something different to the sentiment, the lantern in place of the eye. Like you're going camping on an adventure through the mountains. And yeah, just so fun. And then you're going to see what I do with the word mountain, but it was so long and I really did not want to cut it down too much. So I'm so happy with how I was able to incorporate it in and add a little bit of a 3D effect. I love that these decals were also very easy to move. They weren't messing with anything that I was doing. Sorry I'm off camera sometimes here. Um, this was a bigger piece than a card that I'm used to working with so it didn't always fit on frame but I hope you can see what I'm doing before I get to the mountain part of the sentiment I'm going in with the Ranger black emboss it pen going over all of the lines to make these stamp images stand out and then I'm going to take the clear embossing ink and put it over this and I'm gonna heat set it and that's just going to Seal it in, make it shine, make it stand out, and give you, if you did touch it, it would give you that 3D effect as well. I just love how this brought the detail of the trees and the mountains and the clouds back out. Because when I colored it, I lost some of those details, especially in the trees and the clouds. I feel like you lose the clouds in the background, but by adding this in, you also, it just stands out, especially with the sentiment. So I totally could have even just left this alone. I could have just outlined it, maybe even a permanent marker. I felt like the permanent marker might bleed. This was not um, bleeding on the wood, so it worked out perfectly. You could definitely just leave it alone and not add the embossing powder in. But I like what the embossing powder did, especially with the sentiment. It, because of the clear overlay in the sentiment and you're going to see how I add in that mountains on the bottom you have a little bit of shine so by adding that embossing powder over this as well it just finishes it off and adds that shine across the whole image and just makes it stand out makes it pop so yeah this was a project that took a while coloring it all adding in all the details but I think it was worth it you're going to see me so I shake that around it's like sand in here and I get it off on a piece of cardstock and then I lost some of it <laughs> whoops but I was able to wrangle all of this back in shake it off onto the paper from my desk and then here I am heat setting it and I wasn't sure if this was even going to turn out I I was like experimenting I have never done a decor project on wood like this with stamping and embossing and but it turned out so good and I just love how it worked and as you can see I had taken off the have faith can move part of the sentiment because I wanted to go over those clouds and I wanted to heat set all of the pieces so now that 
everything is embossed and heat set, I'm putting those two words back in, getting them into place, trying to make them as straight as possible, and then I'm going to figure out how to put the word mountains on here. So it's like first I'm like maybe I will just cut it apart like I did with Faith and put it down below. I'm off camera here, but you're going to see how I solve this problem because I just felt like I couldn't fit this word in. So I take some clear packing from, I'm very sure, from one of my kids' Christmas toys. I save all of the packaging from like the boxes and I mounted it on there since it's a clear backing. It just worked out perfectly. I mounted it right on there and then I cut it out. But before I adhere that to my base, I felt like I wanted to add some more color to this because there's just that bright blue. I wanted to add some more of that in. So I'm going to use that same Spectrum Norm marker that I used on the clouds on the sides of the panel here and then I go back in with one of the greens the darker green from the trees just to add a little bit more color because there's not a lot of blue but there's a lot of brown and there's green and then there's the black so really wanted to add some more color I'm adding it here to the edges of the canvas the wooden canvas and then I can get that sentiment down and then that will finish up the project for today Let me know down below in the comments if you like to stretch your stamping supplies as well and make something other than a card. Do you add your stamping supplies to home decor projects like me or a scrapbook or is it something that you want to try? If it is something you want to try, I challenge you to try it this year. 2023 is here and it is new and it is full of possibilities. As you can see, I added that sentiment in. I'm going to zoom in and then I'm going to zoom out. You're going to see my messy desk. But this is how it turned out. I love the 3D effect of the mountains and just how that stands out and you can really still see the trees and the mountain and that big word did not take away from the stamp. So yeah, that is going to finish up today's card. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I would love to have you join me here on my crafting journey as I share and inspire you along the way. Bye for now.